Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Uh, so I'm going to start this segment by uh, basically installing some grommets on the rear panel of the K3. And um, in this case, the rear panel is still going to be mounted to the rear of the printer, but I'm going to um, end up rotating the entire printer assembly sideways, laterally 90 degrees, so that the front door, instead of sitting on the front of the printer, will actually sit on the right side of the printer. Um, for reasons, because instead of a backpack for the electronics, I'm going to have a side pack because I'm using a WaveShare um, 7.9 inch vertical uh, long display and it'll basically sit on the outside, the front edge of the um, side pack. So um, without further ado, I'll get started on installing these grommets. Uh, there's one down here at the bottom and there's a little grommet cap here that kind of captures that. So it's got nowhere to go. And we've got a few at the top as well, including this two-piece grommet that we put in for the same way. I'll just rotate this around to be easier. And drop parts in the floor because that's how that works. Alright, so with these 3D printed grommets in place, the rear panel is now ready to begin assembly. Um, these holes will, are where we'll run all of our electronic wiring from the printer into the electronics bay on the other side. Uh, so this represents the inside or front edge of the, of the panel and then the outside or rear edge is going to be on this side. Um, so I'll get started on the next step.
All right, so there is a little bit more to assemble for the backpack, but I've got the base frame of it done. Uh, there are a couple of problems that I have to work on yet. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it seems like this extrusion, uh, these extrusions here might be just a couple of millimeters too long and I might need to shave them down because this plate on this side that matches at this, this thing um, is bowed out because the extrusions are uh, extruding past or, you know, coming out past the uh, plastic lip that this mates into. So um, may need to figure that out um, and go from there. Also, I don't have enough countersunk magnets to complete the build. So I'm going to need to order some more countersunk magnets, which we need to mount the rear plate onto um, the back of the printer. Um, but I will look forward to presenting that to you in a future video. For now, um, I've got enough here to proceed with mounting the electronics into the back and uh, getting started on wiring. So um, I may not record that part. Um, I'll leave it up to people um, to decide how to wire their own printers. To be fair, uh, I'm not that great at cable management, so I don't want you judging me on my cable management or lack thereof. Um, but at this point, the rest of the uh, installation is um, pretty straightforward. Uh, mount the electronics in the electronic bay, get all the wires connected, hook up mains power. The other thing I'm missing to continue the build is I don't currently have a fused inlet that's the right size uh, for this opening here. So, um, but again, this would normally be the rear of the printer, but in my case, what I'm going to do is rotate it this way so that it becomes the right side of my printer. Um, and then mount the electronics display, the, um, the LCD display on this front face, and then the door will open out this way. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, post them below. Thanks for watching.